Hi there folks, I'm going to demonstrate the Sloodle presenter for you now. This is a new prototype for Sloodle 0.4 to let you present images, web pages and videos in Second Life and in Moodle. So first of all we'll create the presentation in Moodle, that's the first step. So viewing your course, activate editing mode and then find the location where you want to add the presentation. You may need to scroll down to do that. Then click on add an activity. From the drop down menu that appears, find the Sloodle module section and click on presenter. A fairly familiar form should appear, so enter a name for your presentation at the top, and optionally you can enter a description below that. Then scroll down to the bottom and click the button which says save and display. We now want to set up the presentation by adding entries. So from the presentation page that should be visible now, scroll down to get a good view of this form, and we're going to first of all add an image by entering the URL in the box and selecting the image type from the drop down menu beneath it. We then click the Add button, and when the page reloads we should see the image that we've just added. Scroll down to the bottom again, and you'll see that the URL of that has appeared in this table. Over on the right are some buttons. The top pair of buttons let you reorder multiple entries, and the Delete button will let you delete individual entries from the presentation. Next we'll add a web page, so enter the URL in the box. Make sure the web page type is selected in the menu. Click Add, and it appears in our list and we'll just do the same for a video as well. So that's one of each type of entry that we can add to the presentation. We now want to view the presentation in Moodle, which is done the same place, just scroll back up to the top of the page again, and first we see the image that we added in the first place. So click the little arrow to the right of that, and we'll see the web page. It appears in a small frame, but if you want a more full view of that, scroll down a little and click the direct link underneath. That will open it up in a full-sized web page. Now click the right arrow again to go to our final entry and we'll see the video. That should play in your browser if you have the appropriate plugin. Now we can set up the presenter in Second Life. You need to open up your inventory and find the Sloodle presenter object and res that on the ground somewhere. The first thing to do is make sure you've got the media settings set up correctly and you can get the media texture from the contents of the presenter object. Open up your media settings in the About Land window and make sure the media texture is set correctly and I advise setting other settings such as activating auto scale and setting the media size to 1024 by 1024 That's just useful for particularly large videos and web pages. Close both of those windows and left click on the presenter object and it will ask you for the Moodle URL. Chat that on channel 0 or channel 1 and when you hit enter it should show a dialog box at the top right. Click the Go to Page button and it will load up your web browser again. This is just the standard process for authorizing and configuring Stoodle objects. So select the controller for the course you want to use, then click the Submit button underneath, and you'll then see the configuration page. Scroll down a little bit, select the presenter that you want to connect to, and select who you want to be able to control the object, that means changing slides moving forward and back in the presentation then click the Submit button. Go back to Second Life now, left click the presenter again, and on the dialog box that appears, click Download Configuration. You're almost ready to go now, but we're on group owned land, so before we can do anything else, we need to deed the object to the group. And that's done through the Edit window. When that's done, we need to click the Play button for Parcel Media. And it will sometimes take a few moments to get started, but eventually the very first slide should be visible. Unfortunately in our case, as you can see, Second Life doesn't really like the PNG file that we're using. We'll click the right arrow, that will move to the next entry, which is a web page, and it will display this little home page for us. As you can see, it is the full web page. It's non-interactive, unfortunately, that's a limitation of Second Life at the moment, but it is very useful for displaying some information. Now we click the right arrow again, and we'll go on to our final entry in the presentation, which was a video. In this case, it's not a very exciting video. It's just our Stoodle 0.3 preview, and audio will work in Second Life. So that is the Stoodle Presenter tool for presenting images, web pages, and videos in Second Life and in Moodle without having to pay upload charges. It's maybe not as versatile as PowerPoint presentations, but hopefully it's a little closer than we had already. More information is available at Stoodle.org. Thanks for watching.